Howdy y'all. The message for today is to not allow bitter, ugly people to ruin your shine because you're always going to shine so much brighter than they ever will. Hey girl. Hello my beautiful Scorpio. How are you doing? My name is Simply Velka and today I'm going to be doing your weekly general, uh, not your weekly general reading. I do your weekly general reading, which I'll leave a link to over here, Scorpio, but I'm here to do your weekly you versus them reading between you and your person in this video. <laughs> Apologies, Scorpio. But when it comes to any of my readings, be sure to rely on your intuition, Scorpio, because put it in perspective, I'm just a man reading some tarot cards to you. You know your situation better than I ever possibly could, so take the card that resonates, uh, Scorpio, and leave what doesn't, because I promise you I'm not going to be offended by it whatsoever. Now, Scorpio, if you find some cards that resonate with you, be sure to let me know which cards do in the comments below and how, because that's how I keep up with y'all, is through the comments. And if you do find some cards that resonate with you, Scorpio, I would appreciate it for you to give me a like and subscribe because it does help out my channel a lot, Scorpio, and I always am super appreciative of it when you guys take the time to do that for me. And finally, Scorpio, this reading here is just to give you some food for thought, something for you to consider as you go throughout your week. I'm not here to make a decision in your, in your life. I'm not here to speak for anybody, right? I'm here just to give you some perspective, some food for thought. So all that being said, Scorpio, let's get into your reading now. Now, Scorpio, I pulled three cards for you for your general energy this week. Two moon, uh, not two moon cards, two tarot cards, and then a moon oracle card. And we'll start with the moon oracle card first for your messages there. We have the new moon in Sagittarius. Luck is on your side. So this is a really positive week I see in terms of this connection. This is kind of highlighting, um, especially with your tarot cards, that I think, I feel like things are finally starting to work out between y'all two. Uh, Scorpio. I kind of see forward movement finally. Perhaps there's like a little bit of um, a stalemate uh, when it comes to this connection or just like this sense of unsureness because you weren't aware, you weren't, you weren't sure how to handle this connection. You weren't sure maybe what they were thinking, what they were feeling or where, where they stand, where their um, thoughts and feelings are, right? And then for the tarot cards on um, this, Scorpio, we have the Three of Wands with the Judgment card. So Three of Wands comes in where I feel like this Three of Wands moment happens through a conversation. I feel like a conversation is had through some type of action with this Judgment card. So this could be in one or two ways, Scorpio. This could be like through some type of outside action. I feel like it was more so like one per someone in the involved in the party's actions that did this. So this is almost like a Scorpio, like someone was just like, okay, it's fine. It's time for us to finally have a conversation. And they, I don't want to say forced a conversation, but they kind of like took action and like sitting everyone down and be like, let's talk, right? Let's have this three of wands moment. What are we doing with each other? Where are we going? Um, what is the future of this connection? Where do you stand? This is where I stand. Kind of just laying out all the cards on the table and um, hoping for the best uh, turnout from this as well. Um, so I just want to say, uh, Scorpio, with this new moon in Sagittarius, first of all, new moons represents new beginnings, right? And for luck of being on your side of things, I just see the judgment kind of being kind to you. I see... Uh, this situation panning out in the way that you probably either anticipated or what you would like, right? Best case scenario. scenario. I said that so weird. Best case. I was, I was trying to say scenario, but then scenario. I was thinking about how some people say scenario at the same time. <laughs> um, best case scenario for you. I did it again. Oh my gosh, it's a Scorpio. Best case scenario for you. I see it, this turning out to be. So now Scorpio that I struggled with that so much, um, let's get into the actual tarot side of things. Now I'm going to be pulling a card for you, a card for them, uh, Scorpio. <laughs> I just cannot speak right now. And then I'm going to be uh, pulling a card for the energy between y'all two, Scorpio, and we'll just go from there with some clarifiers. Um, but your side of things, Seven of Cups comes in. Seven of Cups comes in of where it's just like, you're left with choices, right? It's through that judgment and that Three of Wands moment through some type of conversation being had where you're left with options, you're left with choices, you're left with um, trying to figure out what it is that you want to best do or do in the situation that helps you move, best move forward. Um, I can't help but feel like whatever this conversation that happens, whatever that judgment and that three of wands comes in as Scorpio, I really kind of feel like this catches you off guard. 
I'm gonna be honest. I know I was saying like um, things panning out in such a way that kind of how you anticipated or best case scenario that I struggled so much in saying for you before Scorpio, but I feel like there's a little bit more to the story. I just feel like there's a little bit more to the story and like why there's so many cups here because it's like, if it was best case scenario, I guess is my point, it would be like, you. I feel like you wouldn't be weighing out so many options. So I feel like it's through that conversation some type of enlightenment perhaps happens or it's just something like i'm not sure i'm not sure what happens let's pull some, let's start we're going to pull clarifiers in a moment but let's pull for their side and the energy between y'all two um on their side of things page of queens so definitely communication i do see them start engaging like probably being the one that makes the judgment call um into forcing a conversation i keep on saying forcing but i can't think of a better word right now scorpio into starting some type of conversation with you on kind of being like laying putting the weapons down and laying your cards out on the table and being like let's have a conversation right page of pentacles is just that card of you know extending out communication um so if you've been wanting to hear from this person i it seems to be uh heading into that direction and then the energy between y'all two, Scorpio, is the Queen of Coins, Queen of Pentacles. So the Queen of Pentacles would be that card of where um, taking care of like the self. Um, it's that card of, I kind of see this as like a, um, a lonesome energy isn't the word for it, but just an energy of um, self-care and the energy of where it's just like you enjoy your own company rather than with other people. I see this queen of pentacles as like a uh, truly just not needing anybody, right? So it's one of those things probably perhaps Scorpio that's just like, do you, you're considering, it's just like, do you want to have this person in your life if they choose to communicate with you? I feel like that is the thing. Maybe um, it's through like some type of communication, then it's just left with the choice of where it's just like, okay, um, now you, I feel like maybe now the decision is more so like you thinking about how much do you want to be invested in a situation perhaps. So let's start pulling some clarifiers now, Scorpio. We're going to pull clarifiers for your Seven of Cups starting out this energy. See what's up, what's going on with you, with this Seven of Cups. See if we can get any more insight in regards to that. Let's see. Eight of Pentacles coming in for you, as well as three of Pentacles, a lot of Pentacle cards coming in. Um, and then four of Cups. Interesting. Let's look at the back of the deck as well. Back of the deck energy is Queen of Cups. So you're, again, what I was saying, like, Queen of Cups is the energy of doing what's best for themselves, right? And the Queen of Cups is where it's just like, yeah and so as i was saying with your seven of cups it's like you're probably just wondering it's like how much do you want to get invested in this situation how much emotion do you want to invest in this situation how how much it's one of those things of how much do you truly care i guess is one of those things like how much do you truly care about this situation how much do you truly care about this person to really make it work with them right or to even involve them in your life anymore so the clarifiers that i had for you Right, all those pentacle energies, eight of pentacles with that three of pentacles, and then this four of cups. So, Scorpio, this is probably going to be a message that some of you guys might not like. Um, because I kind of see with you the way you're weighing things out, Scorpio, you're kind of just like in this, you're probably in this place. I can't help but just get the sense that you're probably a little bit just checked out. With all these pentacle cards, I can't help but feel like you're about your money right now, Scorpio. So you're probably just like, unless this person helps me out in my money in some type of capacity, you're not interested. And so this is the interesting message, though. This is the part you probably won't like um, if you don't want to. Like, because I only say that because it's just like with the Seven of Cups, it's just like you're weighing out for you and care about this person and wanting them involved. At least that's how I see it as. Um, with this Eight of Pentacles and this Three of Pentacles, I see this as the opportunity. I see this as um, you being able to learn from them and vice versa, right? Um, and have really beautiful collaborative energy with them. I feel like you guys could really work together quite well. I feel like you guys probably 
sing on like the same type of way, um, process things the same type of way. Maybe you guys are even in the same field of practice, perhaps is something that I'm getting because there's just so much influence in terms of like uh, pentacles here. Um, I just see this as a beautiful collaborative energy, truly, because with that three of uh, pentacles, it's that, pen it's that energy of coming together with people, it's that energy of um, someone being put on, it is that someone being put on a pedestal, right? You look at this other person, they're standing up and other people looking up to them. But I feel like is that not that part of the message isn't necessarily relevant in this. I can't help but feel, I feel like this is more so just like signifying and being like a good partnership. Right, a good partnership, whether that is romantic or platonic or business, right? I just see you guys really working well together. And so with this four of cups, this is, I feel like, <laughs> you know, this is the cup of missing an opportunity. This is that cup of choosing to stay blind to something that spirit's trying to bring forward to you in front of your face, right? You look at this, this is spirit, you know, it looks just like a cloud in this deck, um, trying to hand a cup to this person and this person is just completely blind to it. They're not looking towards it at all. And so it's interesting to have that card because it's like, it's almost like you're not considering one of the cups, right? You're not considering the fact of like, maybe that through your pentacles energy with them. Maybe you're not associating them with being able to help you in any type of way in terms of like your um, stability or your finances. So that's spirits. It's almost like spirits trying to be like, hey, you're not you're not considering something that's completely valid or um, being like, there's an option here that you're not aware of and like something beautiful that could come from this connection, right? I just can't help but feel that when you have, it's a powerful uh, pairing to have that with because it's just like, that's the part, so that's why I was saying Scorpio, it feels like some of you guys might not resonate or care for that message rather, just because it's like, I just do see you guys as probably not really considering this avenue because maybe you don't want it. Um, with the Six of Wands as the closing energy, this is that successful card. This is, I mean, Six of Wands is the victory card. So I just, you know, like luck is on your side, right, Scorpio? But I just see this as a really beautiful energy. Um, things like, if you work, if you choose to work it out with this person, I just see it really blossoming into something really nicely. So. Now, Scorpio, let's get into their page of coins, see what's up with them, see what's going on with them. Quickly already, the cards come out. We have the Sun card flying out for them, wow. But we'll look at the back of the deck energy first. Back of the deck energy is the Justice card. This is the Libra card. Holds no relevance to the reading. I just always will say it just because I'm a Libra Scorpio cusp. <laughs> Scorpio. Um, back of the deck energy is the Justice card, so things coming into balance, um, probably through the communication right so this does lead me to believe reading in between the lines scorpio that there probably was some miscommunication it probably was like this, this situation where it's like um both sides were like functioning off of a different narrative based like thinking a narrative off of the other person or how do I put this? I'm wording it so weirdly, Scorpio. I can't help but feel like you have like your own narrative when it comes to this person. And so, which may not be completely true, right? And that's what Spirit's trying to like bring forward to you with that Four of Cups. And they've been focusing on a narrative that on you that probably isn't that true either. And so when you guys are both handling a situation with one another, based off of false pretenses it's just like of course it's nothing's going to work out so this does seem to be communication is really essential for this to work out so the clarifiers we have for them scorpio as i said before they have that sun card best card in the deck with this seven of wands and this nine of wands i'm not gonna lie scorpio this person feels almost like this person feels left out, I don't want to say left out in the cold because we didn't get a five of pentacles, but this uh, person kind of does feel um, abandoned in some sense. This person does feel like it's, um, no one's kind of on their side on things. So the seven of wands here, feel, this is like a person where it's just like, they feel like they're fighting by themselves against everybody else, right? They probably even feel like there's a level where you're against them as well. Um, and so maybe that's what they will communicate with that page of coins. Um, especially with this Nine of Wands as well, this person definitely probably does just feel like um, they've been on this journey alone. And with this Sun card though, it's like, this is letting me, I just can't help but feel like Scorpio, it's like, 
they still want happiness with this connection. It's just like, yeah, they may have this narrative that may not be all that flattering um, towards you, um, Scorpio, but it's just like, it's not something that they want to have, right? You know, they still want to bring balance into the situation and that's why they're communicating in the first place. Think about it, Scorpio. They probably wouldn't communicate. Most people wouldn't, if you don't care about a situation, you're not going to put effort into communicating it, right? You're just going to keep it moving. You're going to just become indifferent towards it and just move on, right? So the very fact that this person is communicating it shows to me, especially with the Sun card, shows to me that they still really want to make this work. Um, so take that as you will. See their closing energies. King of Swords. So this is air energy. Um, I do kind of just see this as like this sense of, um, this person probably is just like extremely reserved. This person doesn't really let their thoughts normally be known. So I feel like it probably speaks volumes for when they do communicate uh, towards you, Scorpio. This King of Swords is definitely somebody who, I mean, I would say just is really like, I kind of see this as more so they're going to communicate in a probably a level-headed way where they're able to see on both sides of things right so maybe if that was like your anxiety scorpio if like if they were to communicate it would just be really aggressive perhaps or just be immature and just want to be anything useful in the conversation i see with that king of swords is like they actually are going to like be responsible in this communication and take it seriously now i'm pulling clarifiers for the queen of coins now the queen of pentacles the tower card comes in as the back of the deck energy so it's through this communication some through that judgment transition this this connection is not going to stay the same regardless um, whether you choose, whatever, regardless of whatever decision is made in it, I don't see this really staying the same anymore after the fact. The clarifiers that I pulled for this, um, Scorpio, is the Judgment card following you again. Yeah, so that Tower card and the Judgment card, this connection is never going to be the same after some type of action is taken, after some type of communication happens. Um, we are the Fortune and the Four of Pentacles. This is like a good, this is really good investments, right? This is really good investments. This is, I feel like it's through the action that gets the ball turning when it comes to this connection. And then that's when you guys are able to kind of then finally realize where you want to put your stock, your emotional stock, your, um, all that. Yeah. More so just like your emotional stock. Do you want to put stock into this connection or not? I see it as like a positive thing just because it is with this queen of coins as well. Um, I just feel this, I just feel like this is going to like this connection, especially with your cards and the cards that you had, Scorpio. And these, I can't help but feel like in the long run, you two really complement each other's energies really nicely, right? This is a really pleasant um, uh, energy to connect to, really pleasant dynamic of things. I don't know what happened between y'all, Scorpio, that put this into place, but closing out this energy, Ace of Disc, communication again. Again, more disc. I just feel, I really can't help but feel like for a lot of you Scorpios, this person is related to um, your money or like work situation or something. A lot of pentacle energy. Um, but with that ace of disc, communication is definitely going to happen through this connection, right? That page of coins coming in for them. I mean, this is literally, they hand you the, their disc, right? They hand you this. This communication happens. So, um, yeah. Beautiful reading, Scorpio. Let me know what decision you end up making in this connection. Let me know how this reading resonates. Um, That's the cards that I have for you. If you enjoyed this reading, Scorpio, be sure to give me a like and subscribe, and then share my videos with a friend that you think might be into my messages. Until next time, though, Scorpio, I love you so much. Bye.